Hello, and welcome to our Lionfish Cullen project. So, right now, we are out looking for some lionfish. Now, lionfish have learned to avoid open areas, so um, when we're searching for them, we tend to look in um, rock ledges, caves, and within coral heads. So, when we've identified a lionfish, what we can do is use our long pole spear to go deep inside the coral head in order to spear the lionfish and we can safely remove it. Then it's a quick float back to the surface in order to pop it in our containment unit. Now have a look at this lionfish. Notice how it's not using really any of its fins to move and that's because it's fanned out its pectoral and dorsal fins to act as a sail in order to drift with the current. And it does this in order to reduce its movement to allow itself to get as close as possible to its prey. Now when we come in to spear a lionfish, it is best to do so from the side. And the reason for that is in order to prevent the lionfish from being able to swim off the end of the spear. At the very end of the three uh, prongs, there is a barb in order to reduce the lionfish from swimming off as well. When we've uh, caught the lionfish, we safely navigate it towards our containment unit, which has this unique design allowing us to push the lionfish through the funnel and to safely remove the spear and contain the lionfish. Now, we don't just find lionfish during dawn and dusk. For example, on this snorkel with a group out on the fore reef, we saw a lionfish within a cave and uh, took the opportunity to go down and spear it. And when we're out uh, spearing lionfish, like I said, it's best to do from, so from the side, otherwise they can swim off. However, lionfishes, one of their main forms of camouflage is to remain still, so it's very easy to re-spear them and then be able to get them back inside our zookeeper lionfish containment unit. Now we find lionfish in a variety of different habitats and a variety of different um, sizes. Like this for example, we found this uh, juvenile lionfish hiding inside a rubble area adjacent to the island. Lionfish are also very clever in using uh, different forms of camouflage, like this lionfish, which is uh, hiding out on the prop root of a red mangrove using feather duster worms for camouflage, just like this juvenile lionfish in another shallow rubble area. So why is it of paramount importance to use a proper containment unit for lionfish? Well, speared lionfish can draw the attention of larger predators, such as this shark. So in order to protect us and the um, predators, it is best to use a proper containment unit, such as the zookeeper containment unit. On a typical dive, we can capture anywhere between 5 to 10 lionfish. So this is why it's very important to continue our project. The equipment that we're using is a pole spear with three prongs and a barb at the end and this zookeeper lionfish containment unit which allows us to safely transport the lionfish back to the classroom ready for some dissections.